know you bloggers, your heart and your mind are. I'm praying for you, some of you going straight to hell if you don't stop. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about controversial Christian artist, Lady Saw. Lady Saw went live on Facebook the other day. And in that live, she was saying that she was banned from churches and other Christian events. I have a video of that live to show you. Lady Star has always been known for her provocative style and explicit lyrics. And guys, you know that several years ago, she decided that she wanted to become a Christian. And she has been accepted in the Christian community. And she was performing at churches and other Christian events. But recently, Lady Star came out with a provocative picture that she used for her latest album cover. And because of that, she has been banned from performing in churches. Another reason why she was banned is because she decided that she wanted to perform in secular music festivals, namely some fests. In the video that I'm going to show you, she also talk about some other secular performances that she has coming up. She says the reason that she's doing these performances is because it's a good way to win souls for Christ. Watch the video and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Oh, great is thy faithfulness. Hallelujah. So today at 12, right? The, the video is dropping. And just so you know, I want to tell you this. I'm about to go into some places that some of you wouldn't want to go and don't want me to go. But it's time. God is doing what he's doing. So I'm going to some concerts that you're going to be like, what is she doing there? I'm going to the jerk fest them. I'm going to the groove in the park. Yeah. I'm going to anything that is clean, anything that family and children is hot. I'm bringing the gospel into those places because the gospel needs to go to these places. Okay. Bless the name of the Lord. Um, some churches won't have me because recently, as I tell you, I was on a show with um, Papa San and Ezekiel Walker them and all of them. And then he called me and told me that he's getting a lot of backlash. And I'd say, okay, so well, I'm going to give you back the money. He said, it's not really that, you know, but it's just a church, you know, the church. And, you know, uh, and boy, it's a lot of backlash and, and the sponsors and da, 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 da. And, 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 and I'm listening to see what's, okay, what then, you know, I'm listening. So he said, um, you know, I know you can shine, you know, but, you know, it's just, and he's, he, you know, and I'm like, you know what? Okay, I'll just give you back the money. And he said, okay. And at one point, I said, me nah, I'll give back. You understand? Because my name is out there already. But then, you know, I gave it back. So if the church won't have me, I'm going to the people who will have me. You hear me? The people who, I'm going to the people who will have me. Because the church don't want me. Because they say I dressed in something sheer the other day. Did you not read Jeremiah? Did you not read Isaiah? Strip naked. Preaching the word of God. Didn't I tell you about what the Lord told me when he said. After he dressed me like that. To get you all attention. Guess what he said. Preach a sermon title. When God breaks protocol. God broke protocol with me that day. He dressed me like that. Yeah, and he also took me to the situation with Hester, who was a Jew who should mingle with that man. But just to save his people, just to save the Jew, he put her in there and dethroned Vashti so she could marry that man. Yeah, he took me also to Jonah. When Jonah went to Nineveh and said, 40 days, God is going to destroy this place. And when the king called for a fast, God pull back his hand. God will do crazy things to get your attention because you are crazy. You are crazy. So you need a crazy like me to go crazy upon you all. Because sometimes it takes crazy to attract crazy. Come on now. Amen, somebody. Bless the name. Jilly, I love you, girl. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for being there with me throughout this struggle. You know what I'm saying? Bless the name of the Lord. Oh, why did I turn the phone off? Um, not the phone, the fan. Why did I do that? Oh, come on now. All right, so turn the AC on. Yes. So anyway, people of God, that's my God. Sometimes he must do crazy things. Forget 
who no crazy head fit see what he's doing. So the church won't have me, honey. Keep your church. The church is in me. Keep your church. You don't have to invite me at your church. There's some who will, but whoever can handle me, yeah, you can't handle my praise because why would I be up in your church not praising? I'm going to praise God up in there. That's what I'm going to do. So what you mean, you, 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 you tell them, don't bring me, don't bring me. You remind me of when I was in Jamaica and Montego Bay banned me when I was X-rated. Now the church is banning me. Oh, God of glory. That is why I love by Jesus, you know. Because hey, the Jesus, you know, I know the Jesus, you know. Just come to some fest and you will hear that song. The Jesus you know is not the Jesus you know. And I'll tell you why he's not the same Jesus. Because if he was the same Jesus uh, that you're all praising, then you would know when he's doing what he's doing. Amen? It may not look like something that you would do or understand. But didn't he tell you that his ways is not your way? Huh? Okay, bless the name of the Lord. And just so you know, I don't read, you know, the... Comment sometimes because some of you bloggers, you're out of your mind. I'm praying for you. Some of you going straight to hell if you don't stop. 